Hello guys, it is Clash of Clan here. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of like 11 o'clock at night, so I've got to kind of try and do that thing where you, you know, don't wake up your whole family. But uh, this is some pre-recorded footage. I'm just sort of gonna sort of gonna be talking to you guys through it. So this is my base currently. Um, yeah, it's doing quite nicely actually. Uh, it's coming along well since I've came back. I've done about what I've done about 30 or 40 level 9 walls so hopefully those will be um, maxed out pretty quickly we've had five clan wars um, and we've won all of them this this clan here World War one they actually are at the beginning of the um, war about an hour before it started they sent in a spy and screenshotted our base all our bases and uh, yeah shared it around I wasn't on at the time so I didn't have time to change my base to something else um, because yeah, they're like, they screenshot what was in our clan castle, all our trap placement and everything, so yeah, that, that, that kind of sucked. But here we are, we've got Marrick 2009 attacking me, uh, yeah. Um, as these clips go on, I'm going to talk about a few things. The first is, don't expect amazing attacks from me in this clan war. Uh, I did pretty bad, and it, it wasn't exactly my best effort, um... Not very happy with it, but you know, it is what it is. I know what I what I did wrong with my attacks, and uh, I'm gonna fix it up next time and two star some bitches. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> next thing I want to talk to you guys about is a um, what is it? A new series idea I had. Um, I'm not too sure what it'd be called, but I should probably explain to you guys what it is first. I was talking to a few friends in my clan, and I'm like, you know. Everything on my channel is just basically farming, you know, you can go to any other channel and see that, like, I want to do something new. Um, <coughs> so I thought about it, and I came to the conclusion that there's nothing really new. But then I thought about it even more, and I thought, how about I get you guys to send me in some of your best raids that you've had for, say, the last week, the last two weeks, the last month, even the last year. You record them, send them to me, then I make a... Uh, fortnightly or monthly or even weekly collaboration of those raids so basically the way that it'd work I'd set up an email I'd probably call it something like clash of clan raids at uh, gmail.com or something like that and if you guys had a really nice raid uh, you know with a ton of loot um, you don't have to exactly get trophies but if it had a ton of loot and you got say 80 to 90 or even a hundred percent of that loot you could send me that raid to that email address um, and I'd put in a collaboration. So you'd have to have a way to record it, whether that be a phone, which is the way I started out, or if you have a recording app on your iPad or iPhone or iPod or whatever you play on. Um, and then you could get that file, email it to me, and I'd put it in the collaboration. At the moment, I'm thinking that it could be a collaboration that I would make uh, every two weeks because I haven't actually got that many subscribers. There's only a small minority of you guys that actually watch my videos, so I think it would be fairly hard to find people to put in a video. But I'm going to make that email right after I finish recording this. Um, I'm going to put the email address in the description, and you guys can start sending me your raids. And depending on how many I get, um, that's when I'm going to be starting the series. So if I get, say, one raid in two weeks, um, the series probably isn't going to go ahead, but if I get, say, four or five raids in two weeks, then it's probably going to be a thing that I'm going to do, because you guys are going to want to send in your raids, and I'm going to want to put them on YouTube, because, you know, it's just something new to do, um, it's a way for you guys to get a bit involved with me, um, uh, that sounds pretty bad, but you know what I mean, surely. Uh, so yeah, that, that's the series idea I had, um, I want you guys to please send in the raids, because I really want to go ahead with it, because, you know, farming and clan wars, they... They're fun, but they do get boring after a while. Now back to the actual video, what we have is we have Chris here from my clan, Enigmatic uh, Chaos. He has had an excellent attack on Peter from World War One. the guys that sent spies to us. So I'm just going to fast forward it here. You can see that his balloons, minions, and lava hound little thingy majiggers, I forget what they're called, uh, go and three-star the base, which is awesome, because, yeah, I've never seen that done before with balloons. Uh, you can just see the war stats here as I bring them up just quickly you can pause the video if you want to really look at them I'm gonna show a raid from Coolio here from the enemy clan this was the most heroic attack this is the first time I've seen all these raids by the way apart from mine uh, 
been really busy with work during this clan war, so yeah. Oh, by the way, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I know I did. I got a bit of money, a few iTunes cards, which is pretty awesome. Um, with that money on Boxing Day sales, I went out and I bought myself a lovely desk chair, which I'm sitting in now. It's red, so it matches my computer. And it is the most ergonomic thing you're ever going to sit in. It's got, like, little armrests, so I can, like adjust them so I can play my guitar and stuff and it's really comfortable when I'm gaming. Um, it's kind of sucks that it hasn't got a cup holder but you know I've got a desk for that so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to see it because uh, it's called a Hummingbird Racer, Bathurst Racer. Uh, it's, it's just a super comfortable thing um, and I want to have babies with it. Okay, back to the video. You can see Coolio is doing some work on Calvin Chan's base at the moment. Uh, not looking too swell for Calvin. Looks like he's going to get two starred. And looks like Coolio does have cleanup trips, so it looks like that is going to be the case. Sucks to be you, bro. Sorry. Because that was the most heroic attack. Let's look. What do we got here? I'm trying to find one of my attacks so I can find you which one I got a 49% fail on. Just looking down for a sec. Oh, here we go, we've got a defense from me. This was 34% on my base, so that means he only got the town hall. Which is kind of shit, because looking at it, I think this is a pretty decent base. Like It's the one that I did my um, town hall 10 base design video on a few weeks ago, or a few days or whenever it was. I'm losing track of time here. And yeah, I thought it was I thought it was a good base and it turns out that it isn't. I think half the problem of it is that the clan castle is so lurable. I know I said in my video that uh a lurable clan castle isn't that big of a deal. Um because if someone wants to lure the clan castle they're obviously gonna do it, whether or not it's in the middle of the base or on the outside. But in a few of my recent raids in clan wars and in farming and uh and just the occasional trophy hunting, I've noticed that the clan castle is more important than what I thought. So what I might do is uh, go through and redesign this base and uh, put that video up because on paper it looks like a great base but when it comes to people attacking it it's it's not so good. Like sure it has a ton of compartments and stuff, it looks really difficult to get to the centre but you can see that Go Wee Wee just tears this shit apart and yeah it sucks because yeah, because it's my base. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's that. We're going to just uh, find an attack from me here. If we can. Where is it? My 49% fail. Bingo, here it is. Uh, this was a very frustrating raid. If I had to do it again, I'd probably go from the top, not the bottom. Or if I did go from the bottom, I wouldn't waste one of my free spells. Which is what I foolishly do, and it pisses me off so much... Because looking back on the raid, I know I could have easily gotten two stars, but it was just some errors in judgment, I guess. Plus, I was raiding on my phone, not my iPad, because I was actually on break at work, so... So, yeah, it really sucks. I, I had all my cleanup troops, but um, I didn't really use them that well. So, yeah. I really don't want to talk about it, but, yeah, here we are. <laughs> So you can see it started off okay, but then those Inferno Towers got a lock on my guys, those giant bombs went off. Uh, I used my Archer Queen's ability here, which was pretty good timing. I used my King's ability, which probably wasn't the best timing. But you can see that those multi Inferno Towers are just ripping this shit apart. Now, if I hadn't stacked those Rage Spells, which is what I did, I probably could have gotten the Town Hall with my Archer Queen just before she died. So yeah, no, I'm just sort of using cleanup troops at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm not very happy with this raid. I could have done it way better. And yeah, that's my 49% fail. And it's really annoying. So yeah, here we are guys. That's going to bring it to the end of this video. Thanks heaps for watching. Like and subscribe and send me in your raids. Peace. Ain't nobody got time for that.